Hey, welcome back to another Trillion video, and today we've got some stuff to unbox, so let's get into it. All right, guys, like I said, welcome back to the H True One video, and I got some cool stuff to unbox for today. Without further ado, let's get right into the bigger box, because that's where the whole meat of everything is going to be. So if you guys remember the last video I did, which was more of like an unboxing slash vlog where I got a Polaroid camera, and you saw I also got a second Polaroid camera, which was the SX70, which is the cool folding one. Well, it didn't work. Uh, there were some issues with the shutter button and stuff like that, but hey, that's what happens when you buy stuff on eBay. But I got it sent out to get fixed, and it should be working just fine now. I sent it to a company called Retrospect, and basically what they do is you pay like 200 bucks, I don't know, it was pricey, but they completely refurbish your, your camera or maybe your old tech gear. They do like um, cassette players and even Game Boys I saw. I sent this to them like a week and a half ago. They get it, they do their whole repair cleaning process, and then they just ship it back to you, so it's pretty quick. And they package this really well, which I appreciate. So it's super well packaged and they even have their own little boxes for them. Okay, definitely gonna appreciate the stickers that they sent out. Here's a little snapshot, feel free to pause it if you wanna get some more ideas of what they do. They'll even send you like a full checklist of everything that they did for your camera and like the type of camera it was, when they repaired it and everything that they did or what they needed to replace, which is really cool. So I'm gonna cover up my private info up here, but Here's just like a quick checklist of things that was um, cleaned, repaired, or just needed to be replaced. Really cool that they do that. And look at this, look at this cool like redone box that they have. This is basically like it's a full brand new camera. That's really cool. All right, and that was everything that was in the box. So here is the new retrospect box that they put my new camera in. It's basically gonna look exactly like that. Um, and you know, here they tell you more about the camera itself and kind of give you some more information. I think that I think this is really cool that they even provide their own little box. But let's get into the unboxing of my old retro camera and see how cool it looks. There it is. This is a very high quality box, by the way. Wow. So here it is. In all its glory, they def they uh, replaced the leather as well on the top and the bottom, and that is because in order to access the camera, all the screws and screw holes are actually on the bottom. So you have to take the leather off to get to the screws to fix the camera. All right, now let's pick it up. Wow, that shot up pretty quickly. A little scary, but that's all right. I mean, it looks brand new, and the, and the camera was already in pretty good quality when I had it, but I mean, now it's like brand spanking new. So yep, here's the camera. Let's put this to the side. They even give you a refurbished uh, user guide here, kind of telling you about the camera, cool stuff. And another sticker in case you didn't have enough. And now, one other thing that I happened to buy to kind of go with my new camera, I went on Polaroid's website, it used to be Polaroid Originals, and I picked up uh, like a flash. So let me show you guys. All right, so this is what I picked up from the Polaroid website to go along with my SX70. All right, and this is directly from uh, Polaroid Originals website, or Polaroid now. So this is what's called the Mint Flash Bar. So Mint is a company that started making accessories for some of these retro Polaroid cameras. There you go. So you have a couple of different little light filters and a flash bar to go on top of your camera. And they're even nice enough to provide you with a battery, which is nice. I, I like it when companies provide you with batteries. Look at that. Two AAA batteries. Put that right on the flash. Little flash door on the right side, or the left side of the flash. Oops. About to break it. So here are the settings kind of on the back of it. If you can kind of see, hopefully the camera will focus. This means flash is off. This is like the middle one is kind of like a half flash, and then the one all the way to the um, right of it, the full lit one is basically you're gonna have a full, full power flash. All right. So this is basically what these little buttons on the side mean off, low, and high flash. The button turns blue when you have it on, that means the flash is charging. When it turns green, it means the flash is good to go. 
and the bottom button here just is a flash test button so that's kind of nice so like i said earlier there are a couple filters you can add to kind of change up the look of the photos when you turn the flash on so with this on it's magnetic kind of give it a little neon pink color and there's also this one to give your photos a cool little neon green color and this just clips right to the top of your sx70 like that and now you have a working flash that's going to continue to work because these older ones came with like a flash bar that well once the bar bar exploded and the flash went off we were done all right and last thing i got was a nd filter for polaroid sx70 film cameras basically what this does is you put this on top of your 600 film and you can use it on your sx70 film for your camera so it helps you use more commonly found film with this camera because this camera uses the sx70 film which can't really be found at like your local target and stuff but let me get some film into this camera and then we're gonna go outside and shoot some test photos and see how they come up. All right, here we are outside. Hopefully you guys can see me. We're just gonna take a couple pictures. Gotta make sure to hide it from the light. Shoot a little bit of a lower light photo. Breaking news got me breaking, 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 breaking. I was pressing homeless, praying, 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 praying. Struck down at 20 pennies. All right, I shot my pictures. I'm gonna go inside, wait for them to develop, and then we'll see what I got. All right, guys, so now we're back inside, and let's take a look at some of these pictures I got. Here's the first picture I took of the plant. Looks pretty good. I like the way it's shot. And then here's another picture I took outside and keep in mind both of the pictures were shot the sun was pointing at the subject so this is actually a pretty good uh, picture considering you know how these old Polaroid cameras look I, I love the look and just kind of the feel of some of these Polaroid pictures so really happy about that here's a picture uh, as you can see that the light wasn't really you know focused on the image and that's okay we gotta learn right so this one was more in the shadows and as you can see, it doesn't look the best, but that's all right. That's why I got the flash. And I decided to test out what the flash kind of looked like indoors. I didn't take a, a regular flash photo because I mean, it's just gonna illuminate, but I did use some of the filters that came in it. So this is the picture with the pink filter on there. So as you can see, it just kind of gives everything like a slight pink hue, which I think is really cool. And then these are, I believe are gonna be imperfections in the film, these four little dots. Um, sometimes Polaroid film isn't, like the best quality wise uh, that's just kind of how it happens sometimes uh, if another pack does this it might be a defect in the camera and i'll look into getting it sent back to retrospect to see if they can look into it but for now we're just going to blame the film packs because these film packs aren't perfect they have a lot of little imperfections in them sometimes and then here's another one with the green filter on there so you can't really see but if the green filter was on there without the flash it would just this is just a white little brick fireplace yeah, but all in all, I'm stoked. I'm really happy I got my new camera completely like cleaned up, ready to go. It works basically like a brand new camera as Retrospect would talk about. And I'm really stoked about my new flash bar to go with the camera. Super happy about this. Really happy about the job that Retrospect did. Good job, guys. This wasn't a sponsored video or anything like that. I ended up just finding them on my own because when I saw that this camera wasn't working after I got it on eBay, I was bummed and I wanted to get it working. So. I paid the money to get it fixed. I've got my new flash bar with my filters and they are magnetic. So they kind of just like stick magnetically to the flash, which is nice. And they stick magnetically to themselves. Now I wish there was a, a way I could like leave these on the, ca on the camera here somewhere. And like, so when I'm like, if I wasn't using them, I could put them like to the side here. That would have been really nice. You know, so like here it just says mint flash bar too. It'd be cool if there were magnets on this side too to store them and then put them here when you want to use them. But anyway, just a thought. Maybe for the Flash Bar 3, they'll do that. But anyway, guys, that was a quick little unboxing slash view of my Polaroid SX70 after being completely, completely gutted and cleaned by Retrospect. Until next time, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you loved it, go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, me and my Polaroid camera, we're out of here. Bye.